So welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Irina TL. Uh, today I'm not delaying the video anymore. I am making. Uh, do you know sauna? Do you guys know sauna? Oh, not sauna. Steam bath. Do you know steam bath? Okay. That that bath you go to the modern one is mainly about water steam. For us, we have we do our steam bath. We grew up. When you're sick, they, they put you in steam bath. So steam bath is very important for your skin, for your health. Chases out things from your body. You may see me fighting with these branches. For us, this is our local. These are the things that constitute our local steam bath. So all we do is boil different herbs together. Yep. So this one, this is a mango tree. So I'm, I'm not taking the young mango leaves, I'm taking the old ones. Okay. I'm taking the old ones. These are mango leaves. I'll be showing you the different constituents of our steam bath. I will not tell you that get this amount of leaves, but get the ones that can fit your saucepan. Because the more the steam, the merrier, or the more the steam, the better. So get the leaves that suit your saucepan. This is first of all the mango leaves, okay? Who can guess this plant? Who can guess this plant? This is a bitter leaf plant. It is very good for fever and for bathing in case you have bad odor. So you will get some few branches from it too. I told you, estimate what suits, what fits in your saucepan, okay? Ooh, this is what I've got. So guys, right where we are now, this is a eucalyptus garden. You're going to be collecting some eucalyptus. E eucalyptus is very good for the respiratory system. And um, that is why it's good, because the steam, sometimes you inhale the steam. This eucalyptus is very good. It has different um, species, but I don't know which species this one is. But come with me, let's collect. Actually, this is not our garden. We've asked our neighbor to give us some, and he's good enough. He has given. The eucalyptus is very good for Even if you are to check most of the pop syrups, syrups have some kind of eucalyptus. Also, ointments, massage ointments have this. Actually, sometimes they make oil out of the eucalyptus, but first we want it in our steam bath. Let me to just for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> guide all this actually there are some sometimes they make oil out of this eucalyptus you blend it and infuse it in some is it are they called essential oils and you leave it for some days you get eucalyptus thank me later <laughs> That is this that is what spear grass or coach grass elephant grass these grasses disturb me a lot you guys let me show you what kind of grass is this elephant grass spear grass <laughs> I, I was so bad in these agriculture weeds but it must be one of those grasses so you add it to to your steam guys that truck is neighboring our home not the one I've showed you before, though. So when it comes to steam bath, every green thing here you can see in what, in this video, this clip, whatever I've covered, those forests or what, you can add it up to your steam bath. Okay? That one is called Mosambia. I don't know it in English. Mm -hmm. This one too, we are adding it to our steam bath. It is a tree called Musambia. It normally gives good kind of wood. 
But now for health, we are taking away some of the buds that could help it grow. It's called your Musambia. If I get these names as I'm editing, I'll put for you subtitles in English. So that in case you have these kinds of trees, you can use them. Or uh, let me show you the leaves clearly. This is the kind of leaf. It is almost like a mango or avocado, but no, this is Musambia. I hope I will get for you the name of that. Kachi? Kabindi. That particular herb I didn't know you guys. Two heads are better than one. Okay? So she's told me even that is always added on to the steam bath. A Kabindi is in Rotoro. I'll find it in English, of course. Guys, we are moving out about in the village with all these leaves. And everyone understands this. They'll be like, oh, you're going to make chisabiko. We locally call it chisabiko. So people truly understand. And they're like, oh, so you're going to fight corona. You know that our local uh, steam bath fights corona. We are like, yeah. <laughs> so everyone understands this. We are still collecting. We have a big saucepan, guys. Yeah. And just to let you know, this thing can work for days. You just keep warming it. Not warming it. It boils again. You cover yourself in it. For days, you can do it for it. But it's not good to steam daily. Okay? If you live in cities where you cannot easily access all these bushes, and that means all these herbs at once, you can keep it for some time. Be reboiling it and reusing it. This another constituent is orumbugu orumbugu is in, in english what i'll be putting for you the name of course but it is a common common weed in our gardens it is said to work so much on skin diseases and also it is good for the steam bath local herbalist <laughs> <laughs> Another one, another weed that is good for the steam bath and also a herb. Is it the one called Mukasa in Uganda? I don't know, but that is the kind of flower they have. I'll be telling you their English name in the subtitle. Guys, we've successfully collected our herbs. All these are herbs that are going to be going into our steam bath. Uh, what is missing are over avocado tree leaves. If you can get them, they are also good. But I'm tired. I cannot climb a tree right now. If you know me, you know I'm a climber. But now, I can't hunt. I can't. I cannot hunt. Guys, our steam bath is constituted of very many things. As all these leaves I'm putting, I've shown you, the, I've given you the names before. And those I don't know in English, you guys, I'm going to try and get for you subtitles. In most of our African cooking, we use banana leaves. We cook with steam. So what we do, we cover up food in banana leaves. So same applies to this case. If you want to keep our steam very well without it escaping, we put on use. You can put fresh banana leaves, but the used ones are always better at keeping the steam. So my ninjas, how it is done on putting the 
the mixture of herbs on fire you have to let them when they start boiling that's not when you start steaming you have to let them boil for some time so that all the herbs can infuse and mix all together to form that very beautiful steam that we need and then after what we do we cover ourselves with a blanket towels you make sure you're covered within that steam for quite a few minutes if it's children you should not take long with them this heals I, it helps uh, get rid of the nozzle congestion, the flu, the cough, even any kinds of fever. These herbs will irritate it all out of your body and then you'll be fine. Oh yeah, some people wait to have fever so that they can go into this local steam. But I must tell you, prevention is better than cure. So even before you have the fever, you can make this steam and make your body healthy. It is even good for the steam. So as you can see my mom and my aunties see this little baby was in there for just a few minutes like less than a minute and he's out another baby is covered in the steam to make sure that these babies were coughing terribly and no syrup was working on them just no so this steam helps to combat on all those any kind of respiratory disorder congestion or something this steam will come in handy and fight for you so some of you know this famous less so this cloth is familiar to you my ninjas so it is also used on top to cover people very well so don't so that we don't lose any steams i'm so sorry um i have failed to get for you the english names for the different herbs but i really hope you must you got a few like those christmas trees they're also good avocado mango and um and eucalyptus those are the basic 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 ones so in case you can get them you can make yourself a very very beautiful steam bath